Hello guys and welcome back to World of Warplanes. Today I've been thinking to share my personal opinion about the heavies. Now, uh, very soon in just a couple of days it will come a uh, Black, uh, Black Friday and probably some good looking uh, sales around uh, all types of uh, games. I'm very much looking forward to purchase a uh, heavy. Uh, heavy fighter probably from uh, UK US or German I do already have my first uh, German uh, heavy fighters uh, and I enjoy it either it's a, a credit maker and pretty darn good to go up and fight other bombers and so on however it has one disadvantage even has one really ridiculous big guns and you'll take uh, your targets down ASAP as soon as you know how to aim uh, that 30 millimeter scans but I know I'm talking about in general heavy fighters what are the heavy fighters well I do have several of them this is the tier 7 F7 F uh, Tiger Cats and I do have a P38s and I do have uh, 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 bow fighters and the tier 4 one. Now, the Brits, they are kind of a sluggish and they probably don't move as fast and not has as much, shall I say, oomph of uh, engine power versus uh, Germans or uh, US. At uh, US, the, this uh, lighting, it goes up like there's no tomorrow, very fast. It's a very agile and very fast maneuverable for a heavy uh, but once again this is a tier 5 tier 5 right what's you can see here was the biggest difference it's the bomber power rocket power and uh, gun power in general because there's something very sneaky going on with this particular in my book this is the most overpower uh, tier 5 heavy in this game tanks to this rear gunner when I change the rear gunner to this it's become a monster because even if you're trying to shoot from this side this will turn you and same thing goes here so this gets even strong once you have fully upgraded and I'll just talk about very fast about the upgrade when you have those 4x303 uh, uh, Boeing's uh, MK2 guns Boeing's so, uh, specification damage per second 96 at range is 550 and uh, rate of fire 180. And yeah, it's a, it's a beast. And the reason number one, you would like to play it, probably you don't have the agile to fight other fighters, but it's it takes different play style however this has such a broken uh, firepower I'm talking about four guns over there and I do believe you have four in each side so just bear with me guys I do believe you have listen to this okay but you know what let's let's go to the upgrades so what will you have six those uh, 303 bony plus four so you have 10 10 of those guns four of those guns and uh, the rockets and bombs all to all together you are one living hell for anyone who's trying to engage you from rear as long as you have full HP it's how should I say guys I like it because it takes a lot of beating it's you're not going down ASAP even though you only talk at tier 5 but of course w when you're going uh, versus uh, let's say tier 6 and uh, Germans and above you have also one of the fastest plane tier for tier so you are going crazy fast nobody will beat you especially when you have the upgraded engine I highly ace ASAP this is two things you have to uh, um, uh, upgrade uh, it's the engine turning and also uh, the, the the pilot it has to be everything about the engine do I have engine yes that's the first perk engine guru you you want even more speed you are one of the fastest tier 6 uh, uh, 
heavy fighters, but you want to become even faster. So now, actually, we are talking about uh, a ball, uh, ball fighter. Ball fighter is not the f uh, fast; it's kind of a sluggish, and so on. Uh, however, the biggest strength about this ball fighter is actually the rear gunner. I have so many kills uh, with the rear gunners. They many of uh, players. I don't know if they know or probably are n new at this game. They are surprised how fast they are melting. They are melting like there's no tomorrow. ASAP if they try to from rear. And from this one, it's kind of a kind of a very few places. It, not even from this side, the rear gunner will still uh, shoot at you. And if you have a uh, you know badass rear gunner, and the next uh, uh, skill will be this one, you're even more toast. It has some limitation and probably you're not that speedy, let's say, versus uh, this speed demon. This speed demon will go up very high, uh, like, you know, it's probably one of the best uh, fast uh, maneuver heavy fighters. This is more like a raw, brutal power, you know, with, um, well, let me put it this way. If you're, it does not matter what kind of plane you are, if you're... Uh, behind this monster it will wreck you in seconds and I'll show you in the next gameplay how I play this uh, monster I for me Zera I have most fun to play and sometimes guys I'm, I'm serious even the tier 4 probably is not that crazy does not have as much firepower as the uh, bow fighter because of a bow fighter for me it's absolutely broken strong and the reason number one you do so much experience and this is something that you probably doesn't know the new uh, players you load in the first 30 seconds you go to a um, capping points you know it, you know um, one place then no one cap that's the first thing you do right you load your guns and your uh, bombs and your rockets and just like that in the first 30 seconds you have 1000 experience if you know how to do it right but if you are uh, let's say uh, a Japanese fighter you can also do it but you kind of need to have some luck with um, bots and the uh, f f protector of that particular place to, to stay there because otherwise it's hard as hell to do uh, let's say the first 1000 experience in the first 30 seconds with this one you know the buildings are always there they are always waiting for you and uh, don't expect your team to do that dirty job you my dear uh, heavy fighter uh, player have all tools in the world to take the buildings and goddamn bots so uh, you have to uh, consider yourself you are a multi roller you are the one who's taking the down uh, the ground uh, target at the first begin but then you are also the king to take down the bombers and all around and then because after let's say you cap one or two cap points you need to see where the hell do i need it right now stay with your group if you are alone you are screwed because let's face it if two fighters are aiming at you you have very short uh, time and versus german and uh, even versus us you are kind of a sluggish you don't have the speed to just you know uh, move away however if you stay with your team and if you uh, try to help your team even versus fighters they are gone ASAP because of this absolutely broken uh, torpedo power and gun power. It's just not even far to compare. So guys, I don't know if uh, I want to see some uh, module or something, I don't know, upgrades. This is the rear gunner, it, it makes this rear gun even more crazy and improve coverting. Uh, could be good. The third one, sure. Uh, maybe the accuracy will not be bad or hell even the reinforcement uh, it gives you plus 15 percent uh, aircraft hp uh, right now i don't want to spend as much money because in this game after all it costs one ready and this is also not bad pick engine tuning so yeah I'll, i will actually go maybe for reinforcement because i ha would like to have even more hp pool and uh, minus 10 percent to chance 
effect of critical damage to engine and crew that is kind of important even though you have tw uh, twin engine they are kind of a big big target remember but guys no more further ado this is Zera channel uh, talking to you that it will show you what this bird it's all about I still believe in right hands yeah, this bird is OP as hell and I cannot figure any tier 5 uh, heavy fighter hell not even them uh, uh, attacker ground attacker which has even more broken and I, I, I seriously believe that bow fighter can do as equal as good damage to the ground unit because of this stupid good combination uh, much better speed versus ground units at the attacker uh, a buttload of uh, uh, rockets which actually they all do very big damage so if you send let's say three rockets to your or one of uh, the buildings they all blew up you know and then you also have uh, two amazing hard hitting bombs Attention. now this is a pure Get tier 5 and tier 4 this is the life of uh, you know we are top dog but uh, it's okay only three uh, planes are uh, tier 5 The enemy team have uh, two split fires and uh, of some strange reason in my team it's just me and, and another tier uh, heavy it's not a popular to play heavy I don't know why you are approaching the front line. so guys wish me good luck we go. so I see a lot of uh, protection here I can definitely see my food uh, at the start <clears throat> I go down because I want to help my teammates to secure this bloody um, I am waiting for around 1000 and then I will... Okay, you're under attack, what the hell? And I actually I will send two here. You see what, a, what kind of raw firepower I'm talking about? Absolutely broken. This I need to take down as ASAP. Okay. One thousand experience is secure and so we secure it. Eleven uh, thirteen hundred. Uh, second best in my team. So guys, all I need to do is three thousand more experience. <clears throat> Can we do it? I don't know. Stick with your team, it's a pretty darn good idea maybe it's not the best to go first I know I, I'm not saying that you should uh, uh, take advantage of your friends that is not what I mean now there's one dude here which is which is good idea uh, if we are not capping this one it's okay man he got wrecked all right now the cooldown is kind of a huge of your bombs and torps. It's a risk I'm taking, but I'm not quite alone. You see, if the enemy team will cap the middle, we are screwed. We need uh, to have. Come on, bots. Never one chance. There's a lot of AA. Not many uh, planes can survive that much of AA. Okay, come on, bots. Where the hell are you? Okay, there you are. Using my speed boost. You are on the wrong way. Okay. My engine is down, but I have two, two, uh, two engines. I don't know, maybe the bots uh, shoot at me. But I secured this with 2000 experience, 300. So, not bad start, shall I say. But it's kind of a normal for me, I'm seriously. I Now, I did receive a lot of uh, beating 
to be honest with you but you see exactly what happened the enemy team control the bloody middle now we are going to our death because sooner or later we will be wrecked but this is also the position you need to stay with your team oh my bombs are up and my plan is right now to go in the middle and bomb the living of everything and my rockets in 22 more seconds sneaky sneaky what we have here there's a lot of targets now it's my chance to move ahead dang it we really need this cap I'll use my okay my rockets and everything all right my rockets it's Okay, someone bomb here. Dead. Two kills in the road. And we took back. Oh man. He running to me. Oh man, we have no life here. Yeah. Did some damage, but I had too low HP from the beginning of that cap. So this is how I played. I do believe I killed a couple of... Uh, oh man, they took back. Holy cow, guys. Now... We need to stay there and secure. Even, uh, you see, you see what I'm talking about, guys? 4,700. Uh, maybe this reinforcement cost 350,000. It's a must. If I would have a little bit more HP, probably I would take that split fire, even from the rear. ASAP, I need to bomb here. Are coming back that is good took him down good Good. Die. Now all we need to do is stay here and make sure that nobody, and I mean nobody, come even close to us. I had two bombs, but I didn't have half time to... Yeah, good. Uh... Okay. Now, actually, when you I consider... Man, where is this bugger? He's up somewhere. There it is. And he's fast. Really darn fast. Someone is chasing him. Okay. Put me second time on fire. He got wrecked. Ha ha ha! Screw you. Now, guys, 7,000 damage, and it was Split Fire who killed me. It's normal that I get wrecked by. Uh, but you see, this is the proof. 7,000, by far the best. 
probably um, pr not a whole lot and I kind of uh, died but uh, now if the enemy do does not and what I can see right now they secured three and they will stay and probably fight for the middle here so what I'm trying to say guys as long as they are staying together we have a decent chance to win and that split fire who killed me with 7200 uh, experience he's gone not all uh, split fires captains are good even though the plane are damn good now there's one uh, uh, very good uh, player in our team that he will beat me well he has all chance in the world because he's still in the game the enemy team have only three planes left and guys it is 660 versus 633 okay this is close call dang it and the enemy uh, kept the middle damn this is close call we can actually even lose this game <whistles> yeah our i don't know two players have one under 1000 experience they suck hard and some of us it really ha okay never mind there are only two players left and uh, uh, what i can see right now from this game it's three versus one yeah and the enemy team has only one plane left and we now bloody secured this game well played from this i16 which was by far the best player in our team and i am short after him the second yeah this this game will definitely end in just a couple more seconds okay we know where he is he has no more chance we it's you know even though we have uh, not uh, all player good but we had good one one player was absolutely amazing and this is uh, even though it is pretty darn close call it could go either way uh, this is a win 100% and this game not something crazy 8000 it's I'm not to say too cocky but it's it's a normal gameplay that you can do I, I got killed twice by I do believe both of them was split fire however I put some good-looking damage back to him a matter of fact he disengaged after a time <laughs> he didn't want not to receive any more damage unfortunately in this game you cannot see how much damage I do to the each individual but in general I have eight uh, kills of uh, you know um, area target and only one uh, uh, so it's not something crazy it's just an average uh, gameplay with 7724 damage to ground targets and I told you early I am the second uh, after after him he did amazing good job and I was uh, the second player and um, yeah it's this is how you're supposed to do you have to uh, position yourself and 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 through night you see eight area target kills so uh, nothing crazy you really need to help your uh, teammates you see i awarded for destroying at least six heavy fighters from the enemy combat uh, in a single okay so six was what was a uh, heavy fighters okay and this is you see a war for uh, killing a rear th gun so I had one kill with the rear gunner and rank one because why the hell not very normal I, I do believe at, at this tier guys something else without premium account you will earn but loads of money 22 it's not something crazy but sure I can assure you you can do better between 20 and even 40,000 with no problem uh, this was kind of a short game for me and so on but guys uh, please let me know what do you think about heavies uh, do you like me to show you a tier 6 and tier 7 again they are a little bit different but you use more speed up and boom and down uh, i would like to show you in the next video or so also uh, this plane and the tier 7 oh, sorry uh, the tier 7 bf 109z really darn fast plane and uh, yeah I love my heavies that's why I do I I am a heavy uh, pilot and uh, please let me know what do you recommend what um, 
plane do you recommend for me now because I would like to very much purchase a good plane at uh, tier 5, 6 and 7 not tier 8 of some strange reason I'm, I'm fine with tier 5, 6 and 7 of, uh, because of the matchmaking uh, guys thanks guys for watching subscribe to my channel and always captains fair seas and goodbye